Good morning. Are you an agency or a freelancer that builds small business WordPress websites, but you find the process <laughs> extremely painful for a number of reasons? If that's you, then I'm going to show you how I've been building WordPress websites for the last six years. That takes all the pain away. Let's get into it. Right, first up, I just want to go through the list of things that um, when I first started doing this, I encountered. And actually, uh, in many ways, small business websites, as you probably know, are more painful than larger customers. So there's a number of things uh, that we probably all encounter when we're building sites for smaller customers. So I just want to go through them one by one. And then after that, I'm going to show you the secret sauce on how to eradicate them all. Right, I've got five pain points that I uh, historically used to encounter, but let me know yours. That'd be great to hear what pain points you have because I've got five, but put them in the com put yours in the comments below. Right, pain point number one is the spec is hard to nail down because a lot of the times these are small businesses. A website is kind of the last thing on their mind. So trying to come up with a concrete specific specification is a really hard thing to do. And the other thing that happens is the spec changes all the time as you're actually going through the build. So that's number one. Let's go on to number two. Right, pain point number two is that content and photos don't arrive on time. This is such a common thing where your customers say they're going to get logos designed or they're going to get their copy in place and it's come to the project time but actually they don't have the content and they don't have the images and the logos being off designed by a friend of theirs somewhere else in the world and it hasn't arrived on time. So that's number two. Let's go on to number three. Right, pain point number three is really scary. So we've all heard of the dangers of design by committee. There's something far more dangerous and scary than that is that is designed by family or friends or partners or wives or husbands. That's incredibly dangerous. So I used to see this a lot where you'd be halfway through the project and then they'd say the immortal words, oh, I just need to get some feedback from. And you just knew that the whole direction of the project was then going to spiral into a vortex of pain after that. So that's number three. Let's move on to pain point number four. So pain point number four is all about money, money, money. So there's, there's sometimes a huge gulf in expectation with small business websites where the customer has this massive expectation of how much work you're going to put into it and their actual budget. And there's often an, often a huge disconnect between the two. And you often don't get this with larger clients where they're actually happy. They're used to paying money for projects like this, where smaller cu customers don't have that expectation or the experience to understand what actually goes into web development. Right, pain point number five is something I've rather grandly called informal communication processes. And what I really mean by this is your customer will probably just send you thousands of emails which are quite unstructured, which you've got to then decipher into what they actually mean. So I used to see this a lot where I just get emails at all times of the night and there'd be like a little story of emails that you would have to then kind of collate together in the morning to try and work out what the heck was going on. Whereas again, larger companies have more formal processes on how feedback loops work. So that's number five, uh, informal communication processes. Right, here's a bonus one, number six. And this is probably the most important one in many ways. And that is late payers or non-payers. So you've done the work and for whatever reason, your customer is refusing to pay. So again, I've experienced this in the past. It's incredibly painful. Next up, I'm going to show you how you solve all these problems. So here is the solution to that list of six problems. And just to recap, the six problems that... I certainly encountered were late payers, uh, spec hard to nail down, photos and uh, content don't arrive on time, designed by committee, uh, the money doesn't cover how much you actually spend on the project, and thousands of emails. So how do we solve all these problems? Well, the solution that I came up with years ago was you build your customers' websites in one day. Now I call this service WordPress Express. Let me just explain how it works. So the concept of WordPress Express is pretty simple. Your customers book a day of your time and in that day you build their website with them. So it's a very interactive and creative day. Now they can either be sat beside you or since the pandemic I've done most of these via Zoom but it solves so many of those problems that I've just talked you through. So the way it works, the process is the customer emails us, say we want a website and the first step we do is we send them back an online form which I'm putting on the screen for you now. So the online form is a very simple short questionnaire that the customer fills out and that helps us to spec the design and the functionality thereafter. Now WordPress Express days are fixed price. They are £5.95 plus VAT per day. It solves so many of our problems though. Let me just go through them. The spec is hard. To, um, one of the problems was the spec is hard to nail down. Well, we have the spec because we've asked them to fill out this little form to start with. It solves the late payers. 
All WordPress Express days are paid for upfront in full. So there's no debt chasing after the day. As the next problem, assets don't arrive on time. Well, your customers have booked with WordPress Express a day in the future. If they haven't got their content and their images ready on that day, it's kind of their responsibility. You're pushing responsibility back to them to get everything organized. And it really works. Once they've got a date in the diary, they know have they have paid for and they've got to get everything ready for, it really incentivizes them to do it. Right, number three, design by committee. Well, it's just you and them in a room next to each other. So decisions get made incredibly quickly. It completely gets rid of these, you know, thousands of emails because you're sitting next to somebody as you're building the website. And money doesn't cover the budget. Well, it, you know, we they booked a day. The money will always cover that because they booked, you know, you kind of productize your service. So it solves, it solves so many problems. So I do encourage you to have a go at this. It's just a beautiful way to build small business websites. There are a few caveats, obviously. You need to know your onions. You need to know WordPress inside out and be fully confident that when you're, they're sitting next to you, um, you can achieve what they've set out in their, in their document. The other thing is you need to be a kind of a cross between a, a um, I won't say a developer, but somebody that can build, build WordPress websites and you need to have a mark, marketing brain as well because you're, you're kind of straddling these two fields in one session. Um, and then the third thing is, and the most important thing, when the day finishes and your customer is very happy, they will turn to you and they, they will say these immortal words, is it okay if I email you if I get stuck? And you have to say no, that's extra money at that point because otherwise you're bet back into the cycle then of providing free support for your customers. So you have to be very disciplined when you're going through the WordPress um, Express service. As part of the day, you might well sell some add-ons, which is some, you know, which I do some video, video tutorials as part of the service. And you can obviously upsell service um, as an add-on as on support. But my advice is don't offer it as a freebie as post support um, post the day. So there we go. I hope you find that useful. I would really recommend trying it with your customers if you build small business websites. I've actually used this uh, with some larger companies as well. I did a day like this with the Telegraph uh, newspaper a while back and they work, they work great for those guys as well actually. So you know don't be too limited in your thinking but have a go. Let me know what you think. If you found this video useful if you can give it a thumbs up that'd be amazing because it helps spread the word about um, the channel. And if you want to see more videos around uh, WordPress, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.